our first type of rainfall we are going to look at is called relief rainfall. Relief rainfall means the shape of the land. So in this example, we are going to have a mountain range with Southport on the west coast of the mountain. The centre of our mountain will be called the Pennines as the Pennines run through the spine of the UK. And on the east side of our mountain, we will have the east UK coast. Southport is located on the coastline of the Irish Sea. The Irish Sea will be our large body of water in this example of relief rainfall. The sun sends solar radiation down to ground level and heats the Irish Sea in this example. The water in the Irish Sea will begin to heat up and turn from a liquid into a gas known as water vapour. We call this process evaporation. As the warm air begins to rise in the atmosphere, being forced to rise due to the shape of the land, it will begin to cool. As the water cools, it begins to condense in the atmosphere, forming water vapour droplets, which will join together forming clouds through the process of condensation. These clouds eventually will become large enough to create precipitation, which, as we know, is any form of water vapour that comes out of the sky, rain, hail, sleet and snow. Our rain shadow is on the east side of our mountain and this is where excess drizzle will land. Our second type of rainfall is called convectional rainfall. Convectional rainfall occurs mainly along the equator. So in this example, we are going to use Kenya, which is a country located in Africa. The sun heats up the equator, sending solar radiation down to ground level and heating any form of water. That water will turn from a liquid into a gas through the process of evaporation. The warm air will continue to rise in the atmosphere and as it travels further up, it will begin to cool, forming condensation high in the atmosphere with our water vapour droplets combining again to form clouds. The clouds will eventually release the water vapour as rain, hail, sleet or snow. This process is called precipitation. Our third type of rainfall is called frontal rainfall. This is experienced a lot in mid-latitude locations, so we are going to use the United Kingdom in this particular example. It starts off with two air masses, warm air and cold air. Both of these air masses meet and the cold air forces the warm air to rise as warm air is less dense and cold air is very dense and heavy. This creates our front, the boundary line, if you like, between our two air masses. The warm air, as it travels high into the atmosphere, will again cool and form condensation, these water vapour droplets, to create clouds. The clouds eventually will release precipitation, rain, hail, sleet and snow. 